Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Cooper. Take a look at uh, New Hampshire on this map. It's a national broadband map released uh, recently uh, showing the lack of broadband connections for high-speed internet in the northern Monadnock and southwestern uh, areas of New Hampshire. Um, and then you can see the map for yourself, see those dark areas, and that's where the uh, lack of high band is located. After years of slow or no high-speed internet in those areas of New Hampshire, and uh, with the demands of the pandemic on delivering education and healthcare at home, uh, there is finally some action in several area, uh, sources to bring high-speed internet to communities in those areas. And here they are. Uh, 50 million from the CARES Act for rural broadband development in New Hampshire, 100 million from the infrastructure bill by Congress for New Hampshire broadband development, the town of Bristol and Grafton County creating broadband network on its own. New Hampshire Electric Co-op now offering broadband to its customers, mostly in the North Country, and public-private broadband partnership with communities in southwestern New Hampshire. With me to brief us on those public-private partnerships in particular and some deployment of some new high-speed fiber, uh, broadband fiber, is the president of Consumer and Small Business for Consolidated Communications, Eric Gard. Welcome, Eric. Thanks, Fred. Great to be here. Nice to have you. Before we get to the new broadband fiber you've developed, uh, because it's super fast, you partnered with, I think, 16, maybe more communities in the southwestern and Monadnock areas of New Hampshire to bring them high-speed broadband. How do those partnerships work? So we began uh, a couple of years ago taking advantage of a change in New Hampshire law, which allowed communities to access bond financing if they wanted to expand broadband in their communities. And so we've worked with almost 20 uh, partners, primarily in the Monadnock region. So, you know, in and around Keene. And uh, in those cases, we contribute some of our capital to build the dense areas where our investors are, are allowing us to invest. And then we partner with the community to extend the network out to more rural areas. All total uh, over the next year or two, we're on track to build almost 30,000 rural homes through that program. Uh, which is really great. Yeah, it is. Um, your company just released a new broadband uh, fiber that delivers high-speed internet. How fast uh, is that? It's crazy fast, Fred. Uh, so behind me, you see our new logo, Fidium Fiber Internet. Uh, this is an XGS PON connection, which is tech speak for crazy fast. Uh, we're right now offering one gig symmetric uh, to customers in our footprint. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the network technology we're using can easily scale up to 10 gigabits. So wow, as the great. state of New Hampshire has more needs, we'll be able to deliver it. And and then let me ask you about uh, the fact that the pandemic has probably increased the demand that you're feeling for broadband internet, for high-speed internet, because uh, students are getting their education at home, a lot of them remotely. People are getting their health care at home remotely. That puts demand on you, I would assume. Yeah, there's no question that uh, people are using their home internet connection far more than they did uh, before the pandemic. Uh, I've been in this uh, business for some time. And what I've noticed is uh, for a long time, you would see usage kind of go up and up every year. Uh, it's almost gone up five years worth uh, wow. in the last year. It's really an amazing increase in usage. It's also changed demographics too. Now everybody is using the network at home, just like we are. Uh, to do our, our our interview. So the, the demand is clearly there. I think uh, that said, I think the pandemic puts pressure on all businesses. You know, our workforce has been working through the challenges of working remotely and being safe when we're out in the field, uh, mm -hmm. as all businesses are. Uh, so it's certainly a different, we're, we're no different than any other business. We've got to manage this pandemic for ourselves. But it's pretty clear that our product helps other people manage their own environment, which we're, good, good we're psyched about. Good point. My thanks to uh, Eric Garr, a president of Consumer and Small Business at Consolidated Communications. It serves the broadband needs for uh, a good uh, section of New Hampshire. And if you missed part of this broadband briefing, you can go to WMUR.com, where it will be posted later today and all this week.